Enterprise from Green Mountain, Washington. And Dad was working with his brother, Leon, on the farm. And they would put up hay in the summer and just they didn't have any balers, but they'd just pile it up and then come along with a horse and wagon and pitch this hay onto the wagon with pitchforks. And and when you, you got the load on, you'd crawl up on that load on the frame of the wagon and hold the reins and drive away. Well, <clears throat> he had his shotgun with him and he would put the shotgun up on top of the hay, climb up on the hay where I was, and would go down the road, and then he'd see a, a pheasant move in the grass or something along the road, and he'd jump down off of that hay load with a shotgun and go into the bush right beside the road. And on this occasion, I remember, he scared up a pheasant and bang with that shotgun and the pheasant just dropped uh, and he brought it back <laughs> got it up on the on the load and we kept kept on a going but it must have been during season they must have had a season on them right. so that's why he had the gun with him at, at that time and knowing that there may be some birds that they could they could shoot but I remember my uncle shooting squirrels, red-tailed squirrels, out of his nut trees. And they would cook that and can that squirrel meat. Okay. <laughs> and I loved the taste of that stuff. It was, it was just like, you know, savory chicken or something. But... There wasn't a lot of money in those days. It was just, you know, after the war, and they were eking out a living on this little dairy farm. Right. <clears throat> they had a cooling house, uh, <clears throat> which was a, a little shack with a, a big cement tank in it, and the creek on the property ran right through that little shack and right into that pit cement wall pit and they would put their cream cans in there to cool the cream before they could take it and sell it and up in that pit occasionally a trout would get stranded I don't know why he couldn't get out if he could get in but somehow it got stranded in that pit and my uncle would go up and pull his trout out of the out of this cream cooler and we'd have fish for for supper. Ah. So was your mom good at cooking the uh, the pheasants then? <laughs> or do you remember having pheasant? Oh yeah, yeah. They cooked uh, chicken and pheasant and and the candies <laughs> the squirrel beet. And uh you know, as a boy, you're always ravenous, so yeah. you, you eat anything and everything. Um, but uh, yeah, I we really had a um, a perfect paradise for boys on that little farm, and uh, so Mark and I did a lot of playing together, and in those days, and exploring the the woods right around the yeah the house.